Little Shop, Little Shop of Horrors, Little Shop. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That movie pissed me off. I mean, I could have enjoyed that whole idea if they didn't do that black thing. You know, it was just a little too... The, the, the plant was a... It was just a little too racist for me, and it just stuck out in my head too much. It's like, oh, come on. You know, you're not going there, are you? So that just fucked it for me. Anybody ever see the monolith monsters? That it was a black thing, thing Gary. Like come on. He had style. That's why they made it black, because the voice had style. Well, I'm just saying, it was just, it was, oh, yeah, right, sure, uh, yeah, right, the plants from Harlem, come on. I mean, it was just too, nah, sorry, it just didn't work for me. You know, big lips, it was just too, no, 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 come on. I'm going to say, Monolith Monsters had the scariest monster, because it was just a stone pillar, and every time it fell over, it'd break, and then more stone pillars would grow, and they'd fall over, and they'd break, and that nothing could kill them. What about the, has, has anyone seen the movie The Mist? Based on that Stephen King book? Yeah. I, I loved that movie. That was so good. I don't know, I hated his but movies. I the book. Like the the book. I, know, I, I did see it. I saw it. I mean, I think The Fog. I mean, how could you, how could you seriously come up with a movie called The Fog and then do The Mist? I mean, isn't that a bit, bit lame? I mean, the only Stephen King movie I could stand was... Dolores Claiborne. I love that fucking movie. I watched that movie. I probably wa that's probably like in the top ten of the movies I've watched the most times. I mean, it's strange. I mean, that I that is just a watchable movie for me. Yeah, I didn't like Misery much. That was a little too, you know, you know, just breaking somebody's legs and that was a little too too much fighting in that. Dolores Claiborne had just all that. I don't know what you know, the mist. Like it had. Uh, I I heard at least that it had two alternative endings, and the the one I saw in the cinema was you know at the end the everybody no the guy kills them and that's it. I I don't know. It, it's something like that. I I don't really remember, but I remember that in the book you know he kills them and then comes the army you know to save them and that was the whole point that he killed them for nothing and they didn't do that that ending in the movie or at least one version of it the version that I saw he did kill everyone And I thought it was funny because at the end he was like trying to shoot himself and he's like, I don't have any more bullets. And I was like, man, if you fucking put your kid's skull up against that lady's skull, you could have fucking done two birds with one stone and then had one left for yourself. Or fuck, he could have hit his kid's skull with the butt of the gun. I mean, the kid's skull is pretty, you know, delicate. Yeah, it's a kid's skull. What I didn't like about the list was the dialogues were so, so fucking stupid. I mean, oh, I'm gonna get there. No, you don't. You don't have the balls to do it. Oh, yes, I am. I mean, what, what the fuck kind of dialogues were that? I mean, uh, back at the store. But the movie was cool in terms of, you know, bugs and all this kind of creature stuff. And it was, you know, pretty intense and creepy. The atmosphere overall was creepy. I liked it, but the ending blew it for me. I don't know. I like I like that whole. Go on. Your mic's off. The birds. I was just going to mention the birds was a big disappointment for me too. That one was just you know that was so like okay okay get to it already, right? I mean you got a little you know, you got some sparrows. Wow, whoa the threatening sparrows. Woo woo woo. I mean just no, oh, it was just too slow. It took forever to get to the point. See, the real horrifying movies for me aren't even horror movies. They're movies like uh, Requiem for a Dream, which is just about little druggies and shit. And, like, that was a pretty horrifying fucking movie. Uh, like, normally horror movies don't freak me out, or, you know, but that movie did. <laughs> you know what I didn't like about Requiem for a Dream? I mean, the movie's brilliantly done and acted and, you know, the script, the dialogues. 
action everything is great except that simple concept of the movie i just hated it it's so easy like you know take three drug addicts and give them the worst you know what can the ha the girls obvi the girl obviously is turned into a whore the black guy ends up in prison and the other guy you know ends up with some physical damage because of the drugs and i just blah come on Speaking of uh, drug movies, what about a uh, train spotting? That was kick ass. Well, I'm not allowed to talk about trains. To part of my, you know, make an agreement with the government. I don't talk about trains no more. You know, I'm not allowed to talk about trains. <laughs> I see. Hmm. Well, I don't know if you've ever seen Train Spotting, Gary, but. It doesn't have anything to do with trains, really. The trains are in the title. I'm in trouble right there. Uh oh, you might have gone uh -oh, too far. Gone How many times far. has Gary said trains so far? Three, four times. So what was yeah, this about? You were dreaming about trains? Like what? What the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, well, I fuck trains in my dreams. It's just something I've been doing lately. Uh, but anyway, uh, we're not gonna go there. What they should do? They should remake Blackula. No, they shouldn't. <laughs> you know, it's like remaking Shaft or something. Oh, please, do not do that again. They oh, did. God, They've that movie. Done that. Oh, that movie was so fucking bad. Oh God, it was so. Oh, gosh, God. Oh, that's why I wanted Shaft to get run over so fucking bad. Run over that fucker. Run him over. But he's one bad mother. Yeah. Well, whatever. I just. Uh, Black people should have burned theaters down. Never ending story was the stupidest fucking movie maybe ever made. But I do that little princess chick. <laughs> I mean, it's always, there's always some little part there. It's like, oh, oh yeah, well, it's a little part. This little part I is okay. I hated that the fucking movie, dragon. That fucking Worst, yeah, worst pussiest yeah, dragon ever. Dragon. Yeah, fucking, it wasn't even a good dog. I mean, it was just so fucking like, oh, I can see the stick up this thing's ass. <laughs> I mean, it was like, hey, what the fuck? He's like 30 feet long. What the, he's just the wrong shape. He, he, can't, he can't fly like that anyway. Oh, I hate Oh, that movie was so bad. A and train his legs you. constantly legs jut constantly from his sides. He's side. useless. A tray he you, a tray shit. you. What the fuck is that? A tray you. What? I mean, come on! God, that's like, oh, shit, go pick some lilies, faggot. A tray you. <laughs> shit. What kind of name is that? What was uh, the name of the fucked up Wizard of Oz movie with the chick who had, like, the multiple heads and shit? I, I guess I didn't see that one. I don't know. Has uh, anyone ever seen the Oz? Oz? It's, it's good. Has anyone ever seen the uh, the Black the Wizard of Oz, the uh, the the version where oh that Michael recasted? Jackson horrible thing yeah that was just yeah. So, yeah. so bad you're just like you know how could Michael Jackson I mean all this hype all this hype it was supposed to be like the greatest movie ever made it was like what the fuck you make this in his backyard what would they what would they do they they film it in 48 minutes <laughs> you know you're like and they sped it up a little bit just to make it seem like a regular length movie. I mean, it was just, oh, God, you can't make a movie worse than that thing. But, Gary, I think you would like Return to Oz because it starts off, um, Dorothy gets sent to an insane asylum because people think she's crazy because she's blabber blabbing about Oz. Well, you know, I, you know, maybe it'll work. I mean, you know, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that Wizard of Oz, yeah, I saw that when I was really young, and that was just, uh, I really liked that little Black Birdie song. Rainbows and birds and such, you know, we always pray sad. But yeah, the movie sucked. The you know, Tin Man thing was okay, though, I kind of like that character. 
I like those trees that punch people. I thought that was a cool idea. Yeah, and throw apples at you. I thought that was pretty good. Oh, the tree throwing apples at us. Oh, that was kind of funny. Uh, trees. Trees make good characters, like those ring movies. You know, those tree guys are pretty cool. 